remember that you are now the teacher. You were a seeker. And you found out you can love yourself, be proud of yourself, and continue to do your best. Your friend said to you that you are vain and you're proud, you're boastful. A whole bunch of negative comments they made towards you only because you made a positive comment about yourself. You said, I love me. I am proud of me and I'm going to continue to do my best. Those words really rubbed your friend the wrong way. Instead of saying to you, that's amazing. I am proud that you can, you love yourself and you're proud of your successes and that you will never stop. They told you you were being vain, proud, selfish, all kinds of things that, you know, boastful, even boastful. And they could not celebrate this with you. You're hurt because you really thought that when you said that to your friend, they would feel you. Guess what? It's okay. My name is Tessa Marie, and welcome to my YouTube channel where you will learn the answers to life's true happiness and success. Subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when videos of this nature are released. It's okay. Everybody deserves to have their opinion. Just like you had a very powerful, positive opinion about yourself. You said, I love me. I am proud of me and I am going to always do my best. That is a very powerful statement. Many people can write it, but not many people can own it by saying it. And here you are talking about loving yourself, being proud of your successes and continuing you to move forward. And your friend, your dear, your dear friend, has thrown cold water on the positive feelings you have about yourself. It hurts. Yes, it hurts, especially when we do not expect it. But you have to change that attitude. That doesn't mean you don't share how you feel about yourself with others. That means you have to choose. We already know those people who will encourage us, who will push us forward, who will tell us, good for you, I am proud. They will repeat it. They'll repeat what you have just said. I'm proud of you. You know what? Continue to do your best. I heard that doing your best is what makes people succeed in all they do. The person might even go so far. That true friend say, you know what? You know what? I wish I could be like you. I wish I could do what you do. I wish I could be consistent, persistent, and believe and have faith in myself. Now, that's a friend. And when that friend says to you, teach me, show me how you do this. Do you have time to enlighten me, to encourage me, to educate me, and to just help me propel myself to get what it is I desire? Guess what? When that person who says this to you, says that to you when you are telling them how you feel about you then you know you have a true friend they're not competing with you because they told you they would like to be like you look at it as a compliment and find the time listen to them observe and hear what they have to say and if you can say something about what they do that make sure it is positive remember Yet you are now the teacher. You were a seeker. And you found out you can love yourself, be proud of yourself, and continue to do your best. Now you can be the teacher. The seeker has become the teacher. So when you said it to the friend that told you, you were vain, you were proud, you were boastful, you were just full of yourself, you think you're better than others, all of that, remember that that person is unable to see you because your light is dim in them. And when that happens, there isn't much you can do about it. You can excuse yourself politely and walk away. But now you know that this is not the person that you're going to say those things to again. 
So you will meet both of them on the life. The one that says, oh, I agree. You have changed. It's so amazing. I, I wish I could do what you do. I wish I could be persistent, consistent, determined, focused, and stay in my lane. I get distracted. Will you help me? If you're looking for someone to be a speaker at any of your events that you're planning, get in touch with me. My email address is right here. And you can contact me and I would love to give you more about making life choices to you or any of the topic on living a fulfilled life. Have a great day. That is the person to whom you tell your story. That is the person that you say to them, hey, I, I will help you. I will stand with you. Whenever you are ready, ask me what it is you desire to do in your life and I will give you the same instructions to take the actions on that I gave myself. That's where it is. And then you breathe deeply and say, I am so grateful that somebody sees a change in me and they want to be like me. And furthermore, I am further even more grateful that guess what? They want me to teach them. I feel so honored and let them know, give them a boost, begin your words to them with a boost. You know what, Mary? I am so honored and grateful that you look at me and believe I can teach you something. This is a great honor, a little bit heavy, but I'm going to do my best. And when you are ready, let me know and I will be there to enlighten you, to educate you and to encourage you how I did it. I can only teach you from what I have already accomplished, what I know to do. Do not turn to that friend and say, you know what? I do not know enough to teach you. Yes, you know. Anything you know a bit of, you know enough to teach that person who seeks you to guide them, to help them, to enlighten them, to educate them and to encourage them. To keep that to yourself, especially when you are asked to help, is creating a block in your own flow. In other words, you have become the beaver in your river. You have just blocked your own flow. Instead, let the friend know how honored you are that they look at you and believe they can learn something from you and say, thank you. I will be there for you. I will teach you what I know. I will give you all the information I have and may together we can put our heads together and both of us can go further with the two heads, thinking, cooperating, and working together. Yes, believe that if somebody says, I want to be like you, I want you to teach me to do better, feel grateful that you have made such a change in your life that other people have seen it and want to be emulate you. Do not hold back. Give them all you've got. Give them the best. Empty your cup in their cup and then hold your cup up knowing that more will flow to you so you can flow to others. The thing is, you do not have to be on social media to be an influencer. You influence people every day by your behavior by your actions, and by your words. Make sure that everything you say is amazing, beautiful, and spectacular. Do not be afraid to give what it is you have, the knowledge, the wisdom, your words, your kindness to others, because that is how you're going to go further. Ignore the negative ones. The friend that called you all those names, let that go. That's in your past. No, you know better. And you can choose who to share with. The one who wants to learn or the one who wants to cut you off at your heel. Remember, take somebody else on the journey with you. It makes the challenges and the load on the journey much lighter. You see, you share the challenges, and most importantly, at the end of the day, you can sit 
and share a glass of wine over the successes of the moment. Come on, share with others what it is you know. For anything else, keeping it back, holding it back is stopping the flow. And that cup that you have, you empty your cup into another and hold your cup like this, knowing, ah, oh, my cup is full. Who can I serve with it today? And find someone to enlighten, educate, and encourage to live their best life, to be the best they can be. Be the wind that lifts another to success. Have a great day. If you love this video, click here. Another one like on this topic will be around for you to watch. And have a wonderful and amazing day. Thanks for dropping by.